I want to welcome you to this course on occupational noise exposure and hearing protection. I hope that this promotional video encourages you to take greater care and consideration when it comes to your hearing. If this course isn't free, there are other safety courses that I have that are. How I do that is, is I create a course for you and until I am done creating another course after that, this course that I initially started remains free. And then when this other course is finished, that one's free and then I start charging for this one. And so forth and so forth. So I would invite you to check out to see if this course is free and if not, take advantage of the ones that are. Your ability to keep yourself, your family, and your colleagues safe depends on your ability to process the environment around you and any dangers that might lurk therein. And your ability to hear plays a vital role in that process. When a danger is present or an accident has occurred or something bad's on its way, you need to be able to hear it and see it and process it before it affects you or someone else. Try out this promotional video. It does have some content on it. You're more than welcome to take it. Use it however you want. And the same invitation is extended to you for the full course. The full course, you're going to get all of these videos downloaded or downloadable and you're also, you're also going to get PowerPoint slides so you could put my big ugly face up on the screen and jam a room full of full of people and then you could certify them as compliant when they're done with the course or you can sign your people up individually and they take the course and that way they even get a nice diploma at the end of the course. So I invite you to click on the link, check out the course and enjoy the rest of the content. Take care, God bless you, and God bless your family. So, my name is James, and this course is designed for anyone who is exposed to an environment that may be damaging to their hearing. Now, the key is to understanding what environments are damaging to your hearing. Because we operate, we live, and breathe within environments that we don't give a second thought about, but could very well be hurting us. We will cover the OSHA standard on occupational noise exposure and hearing protection. And we're also going to identify sound levels and at what decibels those levels are dangerous. We will also identify what noise environments are hazardous. We will also take a look at what professions put you at risk and how to protect and mitigate hearing damage. We'll look at the hierarchy of hazard prevention and we're going to go over what makes a good safety program. I want you to have this course as in once you've enrolled in it it's yours. You can download the content, you can download the slides, you can put your name on it, you can put your company name on it, you could pack a room full of people and put my big ugly face up on the screen or you could just enroll your people and have them take the course individually that way they can get a diploma specifically for them it's up to you we are all living and breathing human beings with families who love us and families who expect us to arrive home in the same condition in which they left so I want you to take this course and use it for your benefit I really look forward to seeing you in the lectures take care and God bless hey I want to thank you very much for enrolling in this course and embarking on this journey with me. Our places of business, our places of work can oftentimes be very dangerous situations. Even the most docile environment can turn in a, in a second in this day and age. We can avoid injuries, we can avoid deaths by allowing our God-given faculties such as seeing, hearing, smelling, touching, grabbing, to process what the environment around us is telling us. We use our senses to process that information, to process scenes, to process effects of the world around us. And we need to be able to read a situation and possibly prevent something from happening. We are prevented from doing so when our senses are damaged and for good or for bad, our God-giving faculties to include hearing give us the ability to prevent bad things from happening or react when they do happen. 
without our ears, our ability to prevent an accident and, or spring into action to help out a, co a colleague is negatively affected. This course will not only help you to protect your hearing and identify environments that may, that may damage your hearing, but it's also going to enable you to initiate simple yet impressive and cost-effective hearing protection programs that your bosses will use as a reason to move you up. I want you to be a hero at the place of your work, at your place of business, by preserving yours and your colleagues' ability to hear. And you may ask, how does that make me a hero? It's simple. You maintain this ability, the ability to hear, to process an environment, or process a situation that is dangerous or life-threatening, life then you maintain your ability to prevent accidents. Being able to prevent accidents, in turn, save lives. And that's how you're the hero. Check out the next lesson. Hey everybody, we will be going over the Occupational Safety and Health Administration's Occupational Noise Exposure and Hearing Protection. Those are OSHA standards 1926.52 and 1910.95. So here's the law. 29 CFR 1926.52 Protection against the effects of noise exposure shall be provided when the sound levels exceed those shown in table, in table D2 which we will go over in a second, of this section when measured on the A scale of a standard sound level meter at slow response. When employees are subjected to sound levels exceeding those listed in Table D2 of this section, feasible administrative or engineering controls shall be utilized. If such controls fail to reduce sound levels within the levels of the table, Personal protective equipment as required in subpart E shall be provided and used to reduce sound levels within the levels of the table. And here is the table. Table D2, permissible noise exposures. At 8 hours, you cannot be exposed to anything at 90 decibels or above without administrative controls or personal protection. Anything at 92 decibels or above, you're limited to 6 hours. And anything at 95 decibels or above, you're limited to 4 hours.